Okay, here's my attempt of explaining the life of a star in cartoon form. So stars are all born in these stellar nurseries called nebula. They're huge collections of gas and dust out in space all over the universe. And as the dust and gas kind of um, smushes together and coalesces, it creates gravity and a star will ignite out of that. At that point, see the baby star? It's called a protostar. That is the moment that the star ignites. From there, it goes directly into the main sequence. And this is just where, this is where a star will spend 90% of its life. Um, it's just going about its daily duties, fusing hydrogen into helium, shining bright, um, growing plants, doing its daily stuff. And this is where it's kind of a choose your own adventure. It all depends on the, how massive the star is. Our star is medium sized, so our star will go this route. When it runs out of hydrogen, it will expand and cool into a red giant, okay? That red giant will continue to burn, fusing helium into other elements until finally it just kind of dissipates. Its material gets recycled back out into space. And what is left is this little core of the star that burns really, really hot, but it's really small. And that's called a white dwarf. It's a very dim star. And eventually that dim star will just stop shining. We don't know exactly what happens to it, if it disappears and recycles all of its material, or if there is still material there and it's just not shining anymore. And so we give that term the black dwarf, meaning we just can't see any of the light. Um, it could be gone, it could still be there. Okay, so we'll back up. If it's a really massive star, it becomes a red supergiant. Look at how big that guy is. And it will continue fusion until gravity wins, right? The nuclear fusion that's happening in the core of a main sequence star pushes out against the edge of the stars and prevents it from collapsing. Remember, stars are huge. And so the gravity would, would make it actually just kind of um, collapse in on itself. But once fusion stops and it collapses, it explodes in this giant supernova explosion. And that can be really, really bright in the sky. Um, once that explosion happens, it'll go one of two routes. It'll either um, continue shining very, very dimly and very, very small, like only a kilometer or two across, and that would be a neutron star. So you've got a little N in the middle there. Or it can become a black hole. All right, let me zoom out so you can see this whole thing. Oh, I can't zoom out. I am zoomed out. So we will go back here, you can see the whole life cycle of a star. Born in a nebula, becoming a protostar, becoming a main sequence, which all stars do, and then we branch out to either a red giant or a red supergiant, and then go through the few stages of the end of a star's life. We are currently, our sun is currently in the main sequence. It's been burning in the main sequence for about 5 billion years, and scientists think that we will continue to burn for another 5 to 6 billion more years before we become a red giant and then a white dwarf. All right, we'll talk more about um, different types of stars that take these different routes later.